The Safe for Niger did a mark Armed Forces Remembrance Day on January 15th to honor members of the Niger Armed Forces. When we say they fight for the First and Second World Wars and those when we say they serve, or when we say they still serve for plenty of peace support operation for Bodo the World. As Niger honored their fallen heroes, when we say they don't they pay the Obonga price for the service give the nation, they say they know they look the face of the families of the soldiers when we say they do this work as they defy the Boko Haram insurgency for the Northeast and other security challenge them for the country. And as they hot, we get Ambassador Roy Okidebe, one retired military officer and security service service person when we say join us for phone to talk in mind and experience onto this matter. So the question we say we want to ask him we say, hello. Hello, what will be the question? No, you I, never throw <laughs> your question now. Nah. How you doing now? Nah? I do. I, I want sure to say you did the last time. Now nah, you did practice. <laughs> you be my guy. The first question we say, how you see the matter when we say the ground? So based on your experience, as it is concerned, how they take the look or not take the look the face of the families of the fallen heroes for Nigeria. In fact, uh, in, in get where you go, go, go talk, say, uh, old soldier now, people go gather beauty. Because everybody now does believe, say, old soldier now for so head position. When we they join the army, then tell us, say, we will come serve our country. Somebody will serve country. I go come, come out. Come the sick, you know, go see you take care of us. He go come the beg for him money. Everything where he needs, he must beg for it. And meanwhile, all these things not be waiting they ask for. Now something where they paper. Nah, right. Say, okay, I should leave the army. Now mm. this one be your own. Now yeah. that one be your own. Yeah. So and even the civilians, because of politics now, mm. civilians for the respect soldier again. Mm. Because they don't use politics for the whole thing. Mm. So now, also that, now so for head position. I beg more than help us, they beg them. Okay, that they hear you as you they yan. The second question be say, if you feel tell us some of the work when we say they expect from the army authority and the federal government if any soldier die for work? Ah, because now, as you see all these people where they retire for army now, yeah. many of them see they useful. Okay. Many of them see. Connive, I am sorry, participate in state security. Many chiefs arrange themselves into groups for community, for support for intelligence. Because most of the things where they active well, well for them now, now their brain and the experiences where they don't face. So we are civilian they fear to enter. Where the civilian no to see to understand say this thing a risk or, now they go also the official. State governors now supposed to partner with all these old soldiers. All of them supposed to come together, put their hands together, let them see how they can make the life better for these old soldiers, especially their medical, especially their housing, their children, schools. Because the truth be said. You they already pay them pension. So you don't need to come begin pay them one extra money. Only especially like disaster management. All those kind of things when they need to support government. Government supposed to bring them out so that I don't know. Nobody worry them where they be. Okay. Why not go make them put on for batting, Abi? All yeah, right. Because the truth be said, mm. people know. Yeah. Everywhere you see old soldiers, even the criminal boys, yeah. the young go away leave army, they the same time. They will tell and say, come join us, come join us, because they know, say, he has to rely on heart. Yeah, and so he gets experience. So yeah. they make their team strong. Mm. All right, the third question, we say, what do you feel, say, if they cost work, when say they not take the look, the face of some of the fallen heroes and their families? Well, um, you know, when you say fallen hero. Mm. When they talk of the ones who die, especially for active service. Yes. When you say falling hero, mm. Nigeria gets millions. But the, the thing where they tell me, they say, on this day, today, not the person where Papa died, now you're supposed to be drop flower for them. Not the person where my family member dies. 
not being supposed to be there, they drop flower. Why do they drop them for them? We're supposed to see their children now, even if they're representatives. We're supposed to see their wives so that you go be proud, say, all our fallen heroes, we are taking care of their family. You know? Then all those things so that they do, like celebration and everything, we're not supposed to pump too much money go there. Because the ones say they are alive. Now they need care. Okay, they will come die now. What you want to call them? Living hero away fall. Because the fallen hero now during battle. The one will survive battle called retire. What you want to call her? So all these fallen hero uh, budgets, what do they do? Maybe they channel her to give support to the widows, to the children, and the ones with their life. The number four question, Mr. I want to ask you, which arrangement or scheme do you put for grant to tap enter the experience of retired military men or the ones who say they still work to tackle the security palaver for the country? You know, say, um, many people will leave our Nigeria army today. They see their feet too. Yes. Many people, they're tired, they're just tired. Mm. Because one of the greatest things to kill for a military, mm. Nadia Mora. Yes. Before you go fit, kill a soldier, you don't kill him more first. Mm. If not, he go kill many people before he die. Okay. He not go go down alone. Mm. So the Nigerian government made a look at the morale of the soldier. Okay. Because the young young one where they live now, where see the combatants, mm. government still need to put them together. Okay. Every state government, I don't tell my state, I tell me I'm not from that state, too. because they don't give us letter, may we go represent them for army. Okay. If to say you chief now, they go put and say, G.Y.A. do boy, he don't chief for army, he mm. don't Igbo, Igbo mm. disgrace, or Hausa boy, don't chief, he don't disgrace Hausa. Yeah. But the ones who serve, we call retire. How many state governor don't call them together? Give the handshake, give the certificate of return mm. to the states so that you go even get the database. Okay. So that you go interact with them, you go know their level. Many of us are bomb experts. Mm. Many of us can handle explosives. Mm. Many can handle weapons. Yeah. Many they with the strategies. Okay. They can plan any kind of military operation. You go see them at which they be. Mm. You need to put these people together, state by state. Mm. Not be this are more tech way that they do. Where they want to divert money. If okay. they put that set deterrence together, state by state, mm. the solution they're not going to go look out for it. I bush. All right, Ambassador Roy, thank you for the for me to say you summer for grant. I believe say the federal government, everybody that they hear with you, they yarn, and they go do according to what you just talked. So thank you very much for yarn. Thank when you. Say you do with thank us you. for Plus TV Africa. I greet you. Uh, thank you.